All right, guys, welcome to video number zero of the Playground project within Onshape. This is the last video that I've actually made in this series because I wanted to give you a few heads up uh, before you proceed through the series. So the first thing is, one, recognize that I went, when I started making these videos, I was really rusty with Onshape. I'd used it before, but it's been a, several um, years, effectively, since I really used it for an assembly project. Uh, so I was kind of working my way through it. Uh, that's why in some of the videos you'll notice some time gaps or uh, some of the little intermission clips to go ahead and let you know that I was struggling through this. Uh, so on your own, be prepared to struggle through some of these problems. Uh, that's the nice thing about education. If it's not challenging you, you're not really learning. Um, so learning how to solve the problems, learning how to address them as they arise, you know, that is what education really needs to be about. So a few things that um, will be clear mistakes in here. One, okay, if you look at the Word document, their final assembly does not quite look like mine. Okay? I intentionally <laughs> um, decided to ignore some of the mistakes that I'd made um, early in the process because it's still getting the main ideas of an assembly across and on shapes assembly is definitely a bit more challenging than some of the other CAD software that I've used or that you may have used. Um, you can see that um, over in my um, uh, browser history where you're actually seeing where there are a couple of mistakes in terms of the constraints that are placed. Um, I could go back and work through them, but again, the main ideas still come across in these videos. Now, when you have those problems, be aware there is a uh, history in these documents. So you can actually see from where I started at the beginning of uh, the project, at least the beginning of the full assembly, to how I saved it periodically to make sure that the updates were happening as they needed, okay? up to the point where I went back in, added some color as kind of a uh, last touch. Uh, now, the last kind of big mistake that I kind of learned about is in the file management. I had recommended that you create the files as different parts, different pieces. And uh, while that's not, um, not impossible to work with, I don't think it's the most fluid way of approaching it either. So if you actually look at some of the other projects that I'm working on, um, this is just a single project, but you're able to go ahead and add additional parts and additional assemblies to the uh, kind of like tabs within your browser just by clicking on the adding a new element in the bottom. So as you proceed through this, um, I think it's almost a little bit better to go ahead and add a new element. That way all of your work is just in one folder within Onshape. Um, but play around with it. I'm still learning about this just as you're going to be learning about this. So uh, best of luck in the project and uh, have fun.